Yum, yum. This is going to be a quick tip about the channel hall tool in Modo. The way that the channel hall tool works is you select an item and you select a channel. And then if you hit C on your keyboard, it brings up the channel hall tool and then you can drag anywhere in your GL viewport in order to affect that particular channel. If you select multiple channels, so here I'm going to select all three rotation axes and drag anywhere in the viewport, it's going to affect all of the channels at the same time. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can go into the channel hall tool itself and simply choose which one of the channels you want to affect by dragging directly on that channel. Alternatively, what you can do is if you click on this dot at the top left of the channel hall tool, it will toggle all of the channels off. And now if you drag in GL, nothing happens, but you can still affect the channels individually by dragging on them directly in the channel hall tool or you might just re-enable one of the channels so that you can then drag in the GL viewport to affect just that channel. So you can enable and disable channels by clicking on the little dot to the left of them. So here I've got two channels active, which means that dragging the GL viewport will affect both of those channels. You deselect all the channels by clicking at the top left. You reselect all the channels by clicking on the dot at the top right. And if at any time you want to reset any of the values to their default or to their setup values, you simply click on this yellow dot on the right of each value. And as you do that, everything will return to default. And you can see as soon as I make change in any of the channels, the yellow dot reappears. And if you build any kind of rig, you can set the channel hall tool to appear automatically when you click on a control locator. So let me give you an example. For this functionality to work, you need to have user channels on your control locator. So what I've done is I've created a very simple rig with a user channel that is connected to the Y rotation of this locator. So then with the locator selected, what you need to do is you need to go to the assembly section of your locator item. And here there is a command field. You don't need to type anything in because if you click on the arrow, Item.channelHall is one of the options that are there in the presets. And once the Item.channelHall command is bound to your locator, that means that every time you select the locator in GL, the channel hall tool will appear automatically. If you only have one channel in there, you can simply just drag anywhere in the GL viewport. If you have multiple channels, you'll probably want to drag on them individually instead. And one final tip is if you have any of the transform tools active and you want to make fine tune changes or just want to be able to see the numerical values as you make your changes. If you have the tool active and you hit C to bring up the channel hall, it'll automatically select the relevant channels that relate to that particular transform. So then you can make very precise numerical changes using the channel hall tool. And at any time you can just switch back to the transform tool by hitting the relevant shortcut key. So in this case, I hit the E key to bring up my rotate tool. I can make a sort of big change and then hit C to bring up the channel hall and just make finer grained changes. So hopefully this quick tip has told you everything you'll ever need to know about the channel hall tool. Thank you very much for watching.